Hello students. Students, most of the students they are worried. Ki how to crack IIT exam? So what are the tips and tricks? What are the things? What are the five most important things? What are the five most important things to crack IIT exam? Most important things. Things, students. Things to crack IIT exam. Yes. What are those important things, students? We need to know about this. These five things are really very, very important for all the students who are pursuing for IIT exam. Right? First, number one, students, concept clarity. Yes, concept clarity is must. What I have seen, students, is these students ko dekha hai, what they do is they have a lot of problems in their hand. Why they have a lot of problems? Because they don't have the concept clarity. Once the concept clarity is okay, they don't have much of the problems, right? They are surrounded with doubts and problems and doubts and problems. They always discuss the problem nahi because there is a lack of concept clarity. So first thing, whatever you study, students, whatever you prepare, you should have a thorough knowledge of that concept. Like I take a simple example. Simple example. Like many students I have I've heard they don't know what is uniform distribution is. They think uh, if anything gives the equal probability to all values, it is a uniform distribution. No, this is not true. This is not true. Right? So there are conceptual clarities you need to have. Some students think that this distribution does this, but this is not true. So right in statistics and mathematics, you need to have a concept clarity. This should be a first goal. So all the students who are preparing for IIT Jam 2023, the first aim to have a concept clarity in first two months. Say if you start preparing from 16th of August, if you start preparing from 16th of August till 30th of September, you should clear all your concepts well. If you're preparing for IT Jam 2023 students. And the second, the most important point, after doing all the concepts solidly and well done, of, you are now you are comfortable with all the knowledge and everything. The second point comes is you have to master the problem techniques. Yes, solving the IIT problems, IIT jam problems is a tricky, right? You have to master those techniques, how to solve these kind of problems. What are the techniques and facts we have to use? Because concepts, sometimes concepts are very lengthy. Concepts are very lengthy, but there are shortcut tricks. There are shortcut tricks. With the help of those tricks, you can crack, you can solve these problems in minutes and seconds. Like students, those who have studied convergence and probability. So if they go for convergence and probability, it's a lengthy method, right? We have shortcuts for that. We have shortcuts for that. With one formula, we can solve many problems, student. Yes. We have shortcuts for checking unbiased estimator, uniform minimum variance unbiased estimator. How we can check it very fast? sufficiency, consistency, how we can check it very fast without solving much in two steps only, in two steps only without any any doubt in our mind. So the problem techniques, the shortcut tricks must be learned with the teacher. You should practice at least 50 questions every, 50 different questions every day. So you should target from 30th, from 1st of October, from 1st of October to till 1st of November or, or you can say uh, 30, 31st of October, one should practice problems only. Yes, those concepts you have done clearly, you understood them. Now practice problems on those concepts from past exam questions or other exams questions like IIT, JAM. One should, should be fairly familiar with the national level problems like the problems of GATE exam, like the problem of NET, CSI, NET, right? like the problems of other master's entrance exams or ISI because the level is going to be tough every time. The third step students, after doing this, the third steps daily practice. Now you can't miss this word daily practice even if you have done all the problems. Daily practice is required for all the concepts otherwise you will forget the concepts, you will forget the techniques. So daily practice must be there. Daily practice must be there. 
you should solve at least 50 questions per day at least 50 questions 200 questions per day why we are doing daily practice so that we should remember all the concepts very well right we should be familiar with it daily practice can be done through mock test yes through mock test evaluate yourself mock tests are must must of a kind those students who think then most mock tests are waste of things. No, not at all. I have never seen students scoring 80% marks in mock tests or seven, even if they have done those 10 year exams. Even if they have done those 10 year exams, questions, past exam questions, you must have done. But if I give a question from past exam, no, you will not be able to score 70 or 70 above. I have seen students, they, they are cramming these, uh, we have done these problems, we have done these problems many times, but still they are not able to score 70 and above. It means there is some problem with those students. So don't be overconfident. Practice those problems. And the step four student, the most important again, the fourth step is skill building. Yes, students. This is while doing the mock, mock exam test or practicing the questions, you should build your skills. The skill building is important. Yes, you learn new skills, new techniques, shortcut methods while doing those questions, right? Sometimes you do the question first of the first time. You're doing with a traditional method, right? Second time you are using a little shortcut. Third time you start imaginizing the questions, right? Now you start imaginizing, visualizing the question in your mind. Now you can solve in your mind. When you start visualizing the problems, analyzing the problems, that's the point you're building your skill students. That's the point you are at the peak of their preparation, right? And the fifth step, not to forget about the fifth step, students, time management. Yes, student, time management is very, very important. You should not be hungry for all the questions. You should do correct questions because there is a negative marking also, right? And you have limited time to solve all the problems. So please, time management is also a very important factor. While doing mock tests, mock, you should buy the mock tests from all the institutes or all the areas where from you get. And Practice time management. You should finish your paper at least 30 minutes before so that you can revise whatever you have done is correct or not. You can recheck few concepts because you might have analyzed if this might be right or wrong. Especially for MSQs where multiple set questions, where multiple answers are there, you need to have some other technique other than solving. You have counter examples. You have counter examples to, uh, yes, discard the answers options. You have counter examples that. So students, these are the five most important things you, you need to crack. And every student know about it. But still, I have given you time management. From 16 August to 30th September, one and a half month I have given you to concept the clarity. One month is for the problem techniques. And daily practice in the month of December and January. Yes, students, daily practice and mock tests and mock tests and mock tests. This is how you build your skills and time management you will learn from these skills. So still, there are four months, four complete months to crack this paper. Four months is enough. Yes, you, now you are free. Most of the students now you are free from your exams. You are free from your exams. You don't have any exam right now. So focus, focus on these five areas and you will 100% get the success. So students, I really want to congratulate you and, and Wish you a luck for your preparation for the IIT Jam 2023. Those students who are preparing for IIT Jam Mathematics and Mathematics Statistics need any help and any guidance. Alpha Plus is always there with you. So thank you very much, students. Thank you very much. Please 